lady D. I keep my game tapped. Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy and my bitch. Cause that be natural. And you look at tacky cause I keep my game tapped. I'm so pretty, I'm so fat, boo. I'm so nappy, it's like it's a little taboo. I'm Hey guys, welcome back to Afros and Baby Hairs. And today I'm going to be testing out the Lotta Body Setting Lotion with the Lotta Body with Coconut and Shea Oils Wrap Me Foaming Mousse for a perm rod set. So yeah, I'm going to be testing this out on my mannequin head. So if you're interested, please keep on watching to see how this turns out. So yeah, right here, this is how the hair looked once I took out the crochet uh, ponytail. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and wash her hair. And right here you see that I have washed her hair with the Dove Nourishing Rituals um, Coconut and Hydration Conditioner and Shampoo. So I'm going to go ahead and section off the hair. And begin applying the uh, Lotta Body Setting Lotion. And the Lotta Body with Coconut and Shea Oils Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And then go ahead and install the perm rods for this particular set. So that's what you'll see me doing in these next few scenes. So yeah, this mannequin head has some really straggly ends, but I'm doing my best to install these particular rods. I am doing the uh, sections pretty small um, to ensure that all of the hair can wrap around the roller. But uh, yeah, I think she does need a trim because her ends are so raggly, but I'll get around to that later on. Um, but yeah, I did think that maybe I should have tested out each product individually first and then combined them. But since I've already, you know, filmed and recorded this, we can see how it turns out. And then maybe later on, I will do the product separately to see which one gives the best look. Um, and then determine whether we need to use this product, these products together or separate. But yeah, I'm just installing all of the rollers now. So yeah, this is what the rods are looking like now, installed into her head. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember how many I put in, but I did sit her under a cool uh, soft hair bonnet for the hair to dry. She sat under there for about an hour and 45 minutes. And as you will see, all of the uh, sections of hair was not dry, but I went on and styled the hair anyway. But also, I did go back and install the rods on the front part of the hair that was really wet. And let them let that part of the hair dry for another couple of hours. 
so you will see in just a moment but right now i'm just styling the hair anyway just to let you guys know that even though your hair may not be wet if you're in a hurry you can go ahead and style it and then later on we roll the hair and let it finish drying so this is just you know a solution to if you're in a hurry and your hair is not already dry or all the way dry so yeah As you can see I'm just adding a flat twist in the front to give the uh, hair that's not all the way dry a look I mean you can do small twists you can do flat twists you can do more than one twist you know you can style the hair whatever way you know you want just to go about your day and do whatever you have planned to do and then later on like i said you can come back and re-rod the hair in the front so that it can properly dry if you would like but yeah i'm just going to you know split the hair and pin this particular uh braid um inside the hair so it won't be noticeable as you will see in just a moment but this is just one way to still rock your uh rod set even if your hair is not completely dry you know you can pull it up into a puff you know you can uh play with it however you would like to just get a style if you're just waiting to head straight out the door see right here I did go ahead and re-rod the hair and let and let it properly dry <laughs> so that's what I'm doing just taking down these rods to give you an overall look of how the rod set came out and I must say I do like how these products work together the hair was not stiff it was not hard it was not flaky um, I do believe that this is some relaxed hair so it may not work the same on natural hair but for the most part, I do like how it came out. It wasn't crunchy, it wasn't hard, no flaking, no residue, no anything. And I just separated the curls. It was bouncy, flexible. You know, you can pin the hair back if you don't want it in your face. You can roll in a different direction if you would like. But like I said, I do like these two products used together um i may try this on my hair just to see how it looks on natural hair but yeah so anyway i do want to thank you guys for tuning in today please hit the subscribe button like share and comment um if this video was helpful or entertaining um i hope to see you guys on the next video peace and love and as always be blissful Mike C. Mike C on the track. On the track. On the track.
Cause they're few natural Lady D. I ain't you I keep my game tapped Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy Cause they're few natural The infamous I ain't looking tacky Cause I 